Um, I really don't know where people are talking about a new government taking place in Nigeria and this government is going to take place. When these governments take place, what will happen again? They will take over Tinibu. I don't know where that information is coming. A lot of people are asking me how possible it is. The Lord has never given me such vision. The Lord didn't give me such revelation. The Lord is saying to Nigeria, as much as you can abuse, as much as you can judge the church, as much as you can condemn the church, as much as you can fight my prophet, as much as you can judge my pastors, fight for yourself. That is what the Lord is saying concerning Nigeria. As much as you can judge the church, as much as you can fight the church, as much as you have freedom to condemn the church, you feel you are all. I called you to do that one. He said, you people should also fix your country yourself. That is why the Lord is still asking. Do Nigeria wants me to fight for them? Then they should stop fighting the church. Then I will fight for them. I cannot fight for a country that is fighting my church. Not me, God Almighty. That is what the Lord is saying. It's not about your right. It's about the will of God. That's what the Lord is still saying. Allow God to fight for the nation. Stop abusing the kingdom that should have speak God's greatness. You are against the church. How can God help the country? There is no country that is against the church that God helps. It's a simple ABC. You cannot analyze it. You cannot distinguish it. It's a choice to make. Stop insulting your men of God. Stop insulting your fathers. Stop insulting the offices that I have blessed you with. Stop coming with condemnation. Walk in love. I didn't call you a minister of church. If only Nigeria could, could come to that place of understanding, the Lord said, I will fight for the nation. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, this is what I mean. Remember, I told you that protest will fail. That the Lord said, okay, let the protest fail, right? He will protest death into the government houses. Are we not seeing the government dying every week? Two weeks, every week, two weeks, every two weeks. Are you seeing it happening? Because the Lord said it. Because the Lord said it. The Nigerian people in the government, low, big, high, middle class, the dead have no what? No respect. It has been coming back to back. So God is protesting death inside the government house. But God wants you and I to respect the church. The Lord said you cannot respect the Muslim and disrespect your kingdom, which is the kingdom of God. The Lord said that's what we call eh, fraud of character, hypocrisy. If Nigeria can stop abusing the offices, I will sort it out. Can I give you another example? They gave a certain people some positions as caretakers. What are they doing? They are going about toasting married women, spending money on married women, sleeping with married women in the hotels. Not just one married. They are doing threesome in the hotel now this thing being done by the youth 
all in the name of politics. How can you be the future of tomorrow when you cannot be the discipline of today? If you go for the youth, the young ladies, it's okay. Despite it's a sin, nobody will pressurize you too much. But you are going after the married women, offering them money because they rejected you back then. How do we change the nation? And that is why the Lord is saying, the nation cannot be changed by the president. It will be changed by you. In the place of love, in the place of our commitment, and in the place of open heart. Not in the place of judgment, not in the place of condemnation, not in the place of competition, not in the place of mockery. You cannot fight for God. You cannot help God. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are condemning the kingdom of God that should increase your life. So the future is no more in the hands of the youth. It's in the hand of God. So for the youths to get back their future is to seek the face of God. That's what the Lord is saying. As much as we keep abusing those people ahead of us, we can never get there. Because you cannot abuse the office you want to attain. It will not work. Have you ever insulted a married man? Call him useless. And do you think you're going to find it easy to marry? You will not. Because you are abusing married men. So let's put our mouths where our consciousness will tell us that we are not wrong. So that's the most important thing. So, um, including the same Nigeria, we are expecting the second protest that is coming up. The second protest is going to bring little of Labour Party. We will see a lot of people in the system coming to be part of it. That's what the Lord is talking about. So, Nigeria will go for the second protest. But this second protest will be the elderly, the advanced and the mature. It's not going to really be a youth thing, but more people will join the protest. And the Lord said, if they do not listen again, the Lord said, I, the Lord, will do what? I will go deep and I will pick them more. That's what the Lord is saying. So it's time for we to have that understanding and know that God is with Nigeria. If only Nigeria is with God. The hypocrisy in this country is high. We are a sinner now have rights to point to point a man of God and judge him. This nation is too small. So no matter how you want to talk about the we are imperfect, that mentality of we are imperfect shouldn't take you to where you insult people. You will always bear the consequences. Nigeria can never be great until we come to work in love and in unity. So this is where we are talking about a lot of people in Lagos will rise up to talk about their tribe. And everybody will stand for their tribe. And why everybody is standing, let's divide. Let's divide the, the pot, the sea pot. Separate them to different states. That's just going to start working that way. So let's wait for the second coming, the second protest coming to Nigeria. It's going to bring a lot of effectiveness, but I bet you that this one coming is not going to be easy because a lot of people you know that are up will also come for the protest. That's, that is just the path. And let us also pray for Shetima's health. The health of Shetema not to fail. And I saw him with a stretcher. Where he was taken with a stretcher, he couldn't walk well to the hospital. So I don't know physically if it's really going to happen that way or he will be assisted to the hospital. But I saw the vice president. I saw the 
I saw the vice president going for medical checkup. So let's pray for the mercy of God upon him. That is what the Lord is talking. That is what the Lord is talking about. Praise God. And the Lord is going to use um, this president of America. Yeah. The current president of America. The Lord is going to use him, Biden, to expose some theory, hmm? some negative things in that nation. So the Lord is going to use him and do that. That's what we need to pray about for God to protect and to guide. Let's keep praying because this rain is also going to push to September. It's not stopping now. Yeah. The rain will also push to September. So let us pray. That in the month of September, the Lord is showing me a port. And this port is filled with praying wickles. And the more we bring, the Lord said, many shall put their hand and pack enough. And when they suck it, they will suck his blessing. Good health. So the Lord is having a covenant time with all of us in the month of September in the place of good health. So September is a place of health also where you are going to be healed. So that is why we must tell God thank you for the month of September. And in the nearest future, and I saw um, the Russia have a ceasefire against um, the Ukraine. I saw a ceasefire that the people of Russia left the country of Ukraine and the president of Ukraine will be shaken to leave the office. So it's one of those things that we need to pray for God's protection in the month of what? September 2024. The Lord is still showing me a lot of accidents in this remaining quarter. For some of you who are traveling, be very, very careful. Make sure your driver's engine oil are well checked. The tires are good. The Lord said a lot of accident, as I said earlier on, is increasing day by day. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise. We adore you. In Jesus' most precious holy name, we, we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen nigeria is about to hear a good news in this september i don't know what it is but i saw a good news in september a good news in september what is that good news i know it and i have the idea of it but i don't know what it is listen i know what it is i know how it is but i don't know what it is it's a word of wisdom just take it that way so good news is coming in the month of um, September for the country called Nigeria for the country called West Africa but in the world of September it's gonna be a glorious one it's gonna be a month where the Lord is talking about bonding in your relationship it's not about money 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 no the Lord says September bond more bond more in your relationship bond 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 more in your relationship and the people should know that the high rate of divorce it's going to be it's no more going to be stressful in america when it comes to divorce now uh, they're going to bring a law a very simple law you pick up the form you fill it and the court stamp it they give it to your husband he stamps it you guys don't even need to meet in court they say who pays bills and that's all stress-free three days and the law is still talking about they want to bring death sentence that every issue the Lord is talking about his goodness in the nations of today so check as the Lord talking about the war in Ukraine will stop and I saw a lot of people going visiting going getting jobs i saw a lot of people walking in ukraine so the time is coming that every opportunities will be open in the 
place of Ukraine and I saw massive of visitors going back as a citizen not stressing themselves so God is going to make a way for Africa and let's keep praying for the country of America I've said it before let's also pray for the life we know he is old so Inca let's pray for him and God to preserve his life and for the Lord to help him and for the Lord to build him up and let us also pray for this Nigerian uh, number one jet having some issues up in the sky I refuse that plane to fall down in the name of Jesus I command that Nigeria Air Force One not to have issues in the name of Jesus thank you mighty father in the name of Jesus there is something I'm seeing about the top government where they will be passing with government cars and people will be stoning them and people will block them to fight them it's about to happen in the country of Nigeria and in the place in the place in the place of in the place of Ghana let's keep praying because they are our brothers Nigeria is older than Ghana but let us also pray for them because their shakings are coming in the next few months when the expected does not win it will lead the nation to chaos that's what the lord is talking about so we should keep praying for the country called ghana are you getting my point and the lord said the fuel issue in nigeria he said it will come down but i will shake the system so i saw the boom the boom fire which they call the illegal production of this oil system we are the lord showed me where people were busting pipe for those illegal to bring the competition between the bonfire the local people and the international market we are it will not be a thing of competition we are they will be fighting looking for all the illegal fuel production in these areas regions and try to stop it but the lord said i will support their work to make it a competition for my people have called my name so much Thus say the Lord of hosts. So I think I'm I'm gonna have a break on that for now. So do we this have this is our logo is called the ATB Foundation. We're we're entering into September, which is back to school. Excuse me. Back to school. This back to school is my birthday party. But instead of me to use the money for my birthday to buy car, to buy land and to buy house, I've been using it to reach out to a lot of people, which is back to school. School bags, lunch boxes, money and scholarship in the place and scholarship for most people high schools and university. Right now the ATB Foundation is paying for up to 10 people in the university and up to 11 people in the high school. Why some just graduated? So the rest will continue September while we will pick new set of students. So please, I cannot do it all alone. I do not use it to buy a car, I do not use it to buy anything, but I'm using it to do the outreach. And I didn't start it, I didn't start it today, or it wasn't started this day, this year. It has been over years. I think it's going for five years right now. So please support the ATB Foundation. I do not have a motherless baby home. The one they used to give you motherless baby home. I am too busy to come to your inbox to tell you that the Lord said, I don't know you from anywhere, but I was praying for you. The Lord said, I should tell you, I am not the person. I don't even have time for myself. 
the last time I remembered is that I am not sure I took my bath in the morning before dressing out because of I take my shower early morning. Before the live program, I showered in 35 minutes before the live program. I don't have time for myself. So sometimes to even defecate is a problem because time is going. So I will have to hold it and go where I'm going and come back and do it and move back again. Do not fall for any victim that is telling you he is the one, which is I'm the one. So I am begging you, I don't go to people's inbox to start telling you as I was praying for you, the Lord showed me, it's not me. They are scammers. I never knew I was this relevant until the scammers have opened up to 90 accounts that are fake. The Abuja crusade you all have been seeing is from me. Are you getting my point? So, I am not the one that is calling to your inbox to message you. You see your, your comments, to come to your comments box and reply you and tell you this is what I see. You should donate to motherless baby home. The problem is they are giving you a name I have not called. The only person I work with for now is a man, a guy called Osas. And Osas is my PA. He is my personal assistant. Osas will call you on video call and to tell you, do you want to talk to the man of God? And he will talk to me. You will see me face to face. I am not involved. All these people say, no, I scammed them their money. I didn't scam them their money. I am begging you in the name of God. Check the account they give to you. Even though the account carries my name, it can still be fake. But it can never be exactly as my name. My name is Abel Tamono Minabo. Then the last name is called Buma. Please don't go and answer who is answering Abel Tamono. Are you getting what I'm saying? So don't fall. The people that are falling into this trap are the stingy people. And if you check, they give them $2,000. Are you understanding me? You will just see it. And the next thing I do again, people ask me, why do you think we have even increased it now to $250 to $300? It is because the foundation I am running, it is not a yearly thing. It's a consistent, it's a daily thing, it's a monthly thing. The fees, that is just it. So I want everybody to be very careful out there. As I say, back to school is not a change. Back to school sometimes takes up to $30,000. So we take it, we we'll also do what we call the widow's program. So these are the reach out I do with the money. That is why instead of me to celebrate birthday and spend thousands of dollars enjoying my life, I will use it for the art school. We'll be having our first graduate after two years from now. And if somebody cannot be able to pay the $250, you will chat me and I will reply you. Depending on your communication level with OSAS, then I will talk to you. And if you don't have, but if you are rude to say, oh, go and talk to your pastor. Go and pray for yourself. That's just the fact. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So you can join us on that day, which is 21st of September, 2024. It's going to be done in Transamadi area, in a place called Oginiba, 
town hall. Join me there on that day so that you will see where the money is going. You won't just condemn me with your small data that you have or judge me. You join me. You will see. You will even help us share the gifts to the children. You will see how people are coming with torn uniforms. I just want you to be part of it. If you don't have money to give, come to the venue. Come and assist us. Come and help us. You will work with us so that you will use your own eyes. You understand? So that's it. Hmm? Have you seen me drive one big car and say the man of God gifted himself? Lie, lie. We have things to do. A lot of people are hungry. Yeah, Port Harcourt, be there on the 21st, Ogineba. All of us will be together. Hmm? So that is what is going to happen. <laughs>